Installing WordPress Building a nice website has become an easy endeavor in recent years. In the past, people needed to have basic coding knowledge at the very least. And your ideal web designer was somebody that knew how to manage both code and use interface design tools. But nowadays, anyone can design a website thanks to website builders. In fact, it has become commonplace for people to buy domain names and to be able to create their own pages with a few clicks in no time at all. WordPress is one of the most versatile website builders available, and it is perhaps the most popular among all content management systems, and it seamlessly integrates with MotoTheme. Because you are going to install WordPress for the first time, it is essential that you learn how to do it naturally, so you don't have to go back and fix stuff that should have been configured right at the installation. In this video, you are going to learn how to install WordPress the easy way from the cPanel dashboard provided by a web hosting service using the one-click installation option. In this video, we are going to do a quick install from our HostGator cPanel dashboard, but the process should be the same on any other web hosting platform. Let's start by logging into our cPanel dashboard. From there, we are going to look for the popular link section, which should be available at the feature section right after we log in. Let's now look for the WordPress one-click installation option. When you click on it, you will be asked to enter the information about the WordPress site that you are about to set up. You first have to select Domain for installation, select a domain from your domain list, and then enter the name of your site's directory in the field next to the Domain menu and click on Next. Now you have to enter your administrator information in the fields provided. In Blog Title, enter the name of your site. Keep in mind that this same name will appear in your site's header as a name on your site, so choose wisely. In Admin User, Enter your admin username, which is the username that you will use to log into your WordPress site as the administrator. Now enter your first name and your last name. Lastly, enter your admin email, which will be the main email address that you will use to manage your WordPress site. You can use a universal email address for your site, such as your support email address, so you can have all your correspondence in one place. Once you enter all your information, check that everything is correct. Tick the Terms of Service Agreement checkbox and click on Install. A progress bar at the top of the screen will let you know how your WordPress installation is progressing. An installation complete message will appear once it is done. On your right, you will see your new WordPress credentials. We recommend you to copy and save your username and your password elsewhere, although you will receive them in your admin email inbox as well. Copy your new password and click on Login to go to your login page. You can always access your login page by adding slash wp-login.php at the end of your WordPress site URL. Now enter your username, your password, and click on Login to log into your new WordPress dashboard for the first time. Sometime after you log in for the first time, you will get asked what kind of site you plan to set up, and you can choose between business or personal. But we recommend you to simply click on I don't need help, and let Modal Team take care of customization. That's it! As you can see, Installing WordPress is pretty simple and straightforward when you do it by way of a one-click installation. Tune in for the following video so we can show you everything that you should learn about downloading and installing MotoTheme.